Hi, today we're looking at photographing nuthatches. The nuthatch is a common bird. If you've got some feeders set up in your back garden, the chances are you've got nuthatches coming to feed there, or a feeder station out in your local woodland. But they're not easy birds to photograph. They're very prone to going directly to the food supply. If you're photographing blue tits, great tits and robins, etc., then usually you can just have one feeder, something like this, and just next to it, about this distance away, you have some perches you want the birds to land on, and the incoming birds going to the food will land on those perches first. It works best when you've got two or three blue tits already on the feeder, and it's the birds that are queuing up waiting for their turn to go to the feeder that you get the pictures of. But nuthatches aren't like that. They don't queue up. They don't land on nearby perches. They fly directly onto the feeder. If there's any other birds there, they just push them out of the way. They are the woodland bully. They are very aggressive and very compact and powerful little birds and they intimidate everything else. So the way you photograph them is first of all you just want one feeder, everything else we've got to remove. And here there's lots of feeders which I've either covered up or taken down and we just want one food supply which we're going to start off trying to get them on this post. And then inside the hollow of the post we put a mixture of sunflower seeds and peanuts and just tuck it away, hidden out of sight, although at this point we're not likely to be taking pictures, but the first step is to get the bird coming in on a regular basis to one spot. So now we're going to sit in the hide and it might take two or three minutes or half an hour, you can't tell, but you wait until the nuthatch has found this food supply and normally they're pretty quick, they're pretty intelligent birds, they, they can see where the food is pretty quickly and they're coming in on a regular basis. Every two or three minutes, nuthatch will come in, it will land here and feed. But if you've ever tried photographing nuthatches, you will recognise this description. They fly in, they land, their head goes straight down, they don't pose, don't lift their heads up, head straight down, they poke about in the food, they select the one they want, a sunflower seed perhaps, and then they pick their heads up and sometimes, for a split second, with a sunflower seed in the bill, they pose for you. But you don't want that picture, it's not good to get a nut hatch with a sunflower seed in its bill, but they do sometimes pose for a split second then they fly away. But the whole thing is very quick and very direct, they're not great posers. So the way to get them to pose is to remove all the food once you've got them coming in on a regular basis. Less is more. So you've got to a situation where the nuthatches is coming in regular every few minutes. We now get out the hide, we take all of the food out of this post. The next time that nuthatch comes in, it will land here and instead of its head going straight down, it will pick its head up and it will look around and say, where's the food? And in that very short time, you'll be able to get pictures of it. And then it will hop around, it will hop to here, here, go up onto here, it will look around on all the various perches you've got, looking to see where the food's gone. But although it's still quick, when it lands, it tends to lift its head up and look around. And you might just get half a second, but that's enough time to get, you know, eight, nine, ten pictures sometimes. And it will land in various places. So you've still got to be quick, but you will get some poses out of that bird when there's no food there. And you only leave it like this for a couple of minutes and you'll get your best poses during that two minutes. Then you get out, put some food back in, back in the hide, wait for the bird to come in on a regular basis for another half an hour or so. It's feeding quite happily. Then get out, remove the food again and repeat the process. This doesn't just work with nuthatches, it works with other species that are similar, like bramblings and bullfinches. They tend to go directly to the food supply as well. So you'll get your best pictures when you remove the food, just, just briefly. That's how it works. So we'll start off just by demonstrating the problem, how direct and fast nuthatches can be. Land on the branch, hop across to the feeder. And I'm going to demonstrate this on the log, but it would work equally well on this branch if I simply removed that feeder, the one that's hanging up there, the metal basket. But here they are on the log, and time and time again, just comes in, grabs the food, brief pose, and flies off. Very, very quick.
little bit of a pose there, although his feet were sort of hidden. And there the pose, but again with the sunflower seed in the bill. Always just when they leave. So now we remove all the food from the stump. It's completely empty. The bird comes in. There, do you see that pose? It wasn't very long, but just run through that clip again. Here it is. Just there. It was long enough to get a couple of frames off. That's still quick when, the, when you're doing this, but it works. It does slow the bird down sufficiently to be able to get pictures. Again, head up, no food in the bill. Here the colt it wants to get in on the act as well, but he also poses just briefly enough for a picture. They won't always pose on the stump, they're going to pose on the other branches around so you've got to be quick. He's up on the top of this stump, it's not the most attractive perch here, we've got a cut off top, but he did stay long enough for a picture. He pauses in this clip as well, but his feet are hidden, so I wouldn't bother taking a picture of that. But this was the best one. He went onto the vertical, just above the stump, and he posed there for 10, 15 seconds or so. Plenty of time to focus on him, compose your picture. And these days, get many hundreds of pictures in that time. So I'll just finish off with some pictures that I've taken over the years using this technique of knot hatches in, in various postures. watching.